Welcome to the Movie Babies. I'm Devin. I'm Sean. I'm Mike. Whoa! <laughs> and this is a trailer review show. Uh, we're going to be talking <laughs> some trailers that are new, that just came out recently. Uh, what we like about them, what we don't like about them. We have a guest with us this afternoon. He Celebrity may hear. guest. Cracking open a cold one. Oh, yeah. As they say, the kids say. <laughs> As the millennials love to do. He is a movie connoisseur. He is a metal vocalist. He is a knower of all horror movie references. Let me stop you there, Sean. Yeah. Whoa. It's His voice Mikey is... Mikey Graves coming in hot from the fucking molten compress of uh-huh. my mind. I love it. You're doing... <laughs> You do like the opposite of like a radio DJ who's very like high energy, like, hey guys, what's up? It's Mikey DJ. And you're like, hey guys. When would it make more sense if I switched it up? Here we go. Ah. It's pretty- hey, oh, it's Mikey Gray. Oh God, I cannot fix that in editing. <laughs> Mike's here. He's going to help us review the trailers for The New Mutants and Downsizing. Trailers we all recently saw in the, our last viewing at the theater at thor ragnarok hey guys Mm -hmm. i just had an idea what you got what if we reviewed that movie sounds like something that a trailer review show shouldn't do but i'm with you so spoiler alert oh I thought you were being a despicable me, nah. like minion. Mike, did you have a favorable feeling about Ragnarok going into it prior to the movie, based on the trailers? Um, so I saw the first Thor, mm-hmm. and I watched half of the second Thor. Couldn't be bothered to get <laughs> Yeah, okay, it. yeah. People hate Thor 2. I kind of like that one just because it was dumb fun. Let's team up Loki and Thor. Because they play off of each other well. It's a mess, but <laughs> it seems like a mess. But it was like I enjoyed the chaos of it. Did they all, at all set up or tease Ragnarok? Thor two does kind of lead up to it. Loki takes over for Odin mm-hmm. because Odin is dying or killing himself, or for some reason he just turns into dust in in Ragnarok, and I was not clear on that why. That was pretty bizarre. Why did that he happen? He kind of faded up into the star, or he did not. Fade into the stars. That was my whole thing. Is I was like, okay, he just fucking turned into embers. He lying and floated off himself. over the fucking Oregon coast. <laughs> yeah. Here we go, Odin. Oh nope, did not even make it to the ocean. He's yeah. dead. Mume Joe was with us, and he like leaned over to me and went, "Lion King." <laughs> during that scene, because that's what the whole movie is based around. Is like Asgard yeah. is unprotected. Odin's dead or self-imposed dead. We wake up in a cage. Above a fiery pit. <laughs> Let me start you at the beginning. Yes. Mm-hmm. Fucking fall to the ground, kill the fucking demon boy, mm-hmm. and then out of nowhere, you're watching a fucking medieval play. You got fucking Sam Neill up in there, tearing it apart as Odin. Mm-hmm. Such a better Odin, if I might <laughs> say it. <laughs> Sam Neill's killing it. Uh-huh. Matt Damon is playing fucking... <laughs> Loki. I love your review so far. It's like, I just wish we were watching the play. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Damon's playing Loki, which we will talk more about Damon later on. Out of nowhere, we got Thor coming up with his hammer, mm-hmm. and he's like, Loki, drop the shit, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's my favorite quote from the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah, it's found out that Loki has been pretending to be Odin. That scene where he does disappear, I feel like... This kind of goes in the major problem of the film. It's going too fast. It needed some... Slow down some of those beats. Pump in the fucking beats. Sit on that moment for a little bit. Yeah. But it's like, the film's so quick. It's like, we don't have time. They didn't even have time to dress him. He was wearing just regular clothes. Like, he had the eye patch. (laughs) Yeah. But pan down, he's just wearing just like a button-up shirt and khaki pants. And he's like, yeah, I'm Odin. What's up? (laughs) And that was him through the (laughs) entire movie. They did not show Odin... In his shit. Oh, I see. He was in fucking just homeless clothes the whole movie. (laughs) And then he's like, I'm out, dude. Yeah. And then he fades out in the fucking dust. He's blending in. I guess. 
Weird. Okay. So then with Asgard or Assland or whatever the fuck it's called, susceptible to incursion, this awakens two bad guys who mm-hmm. want to take over Asworld and cause Ragnarok. Okay, who are the two bad guys? Okay. Yeah. One is a flamey devil guy. So that's our opening That's scene. Ragnarok. Yeah. What's his name? That's Ragnarok. That's his name? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So he's got a plot to go overthrow the society. But then Thor's sister, his older sister, the first child of Odin, yeah. who is the Empress of Death, has been banished. Or where is? where was she coming from? We don't know. She just appears out of nowhere and is like, guess what, motherfuckers? Odin's out. I'm in. And, yes. and warps up the fucking Care Bear tubes. I think the plot was that Odin was somehow keeping her at bay by protecting Asgard. We end up watching fucking Odin drift away into a fucking cloud. <laughs> Got to of on sea this. mist. This is going to be the longest review. <laughs> I up, already know. He ends up fading off into sea mist. And, and, if, and if you both pause his it sons right, are like, it spells I love sex you, in Dad. There. I love you, Dad. What? And then out of nowhere, it's like... <laughs> Demon cloud of green comes uh-huh. out of nowhere. I'm your sister, and I'm here to cause death. Mm. You bitch. And then they're like, "Oh my god!" And then they fucking blast out. Loki is yeah. like, "Let's get out of here, bro." They fucking <laughs> hit the road. They're blasting through fucking time and space. Uh-huh. And then sis is kicking them out of the fucking space time continuum. Right. Okay. Out of nowhere, crash land. Okay. okay. So I'm gonna kind of. You're mind- gonna try to put this on the rails, Devin. I'm gonna keep kicking it back to Mike. Mike, will you explain the part? <laughs> Where Doctor Strange pops up. Okay. So they're fucking hanging out. Fucking, what's the actor's name? Thor? Cumberbatch. Oh, no. oh, oh, uh, oh Hemsworth. No, come on. Hemsworth. Hemsworth. Mm. Chris Hemsworth's hanging out. Sick fucking hoodie. Mm-hmm. It's a full zipper. It's not even, the zipper goes all the way around the hood. Uh-huh. What? How does that work? I don't know. Tell me about it, babe. Magic. He's hot. And then he's got his fucking brother Loki looking pretty low key. Mm-hmm. Out of nowhere, Loki. <laughs> Fucking shits through the sidewalk. <laughs> Goes through a fucking <laughs> amber portal. Uh-huh. Fucking Chris Hemsworth is, finds a note. Oh, what's the note? 666 Devil Street. I'll check it out. <laughs> Goes down a fucking Devil Street. Opens the door. Who do they find? Dr. Strange Nugs. And he's smoking a fatty fucking bowl. And he gets in there and he's like, hey, where's my dad? And he's like... <laughs> It's token of fuck. Ooh, oh, blows a fat cloud in the fucking <laughs> it's just like Chris's Jim Brewer face. Is right here, with ends us. up fucking high shit. <laughs> keeps levitating. He's drinking a beer in his hand. Mm-hmm. Keeps levitating left and right and left and right. And then fucking Doctor Strange is like, "Hey, here's your brother Loki. Keep it low. Keep pops on the fucking ground." And then Chris Helmsworth is like. Hey, this is my brother, and then Loki's like, I'm gonna kill you, Doctor Strange, and then he's like, No, you won't! And then he fucking swoops him away. It's like having a conversation <laughs> with Jim Carrey and the guy who does sound effects from Police Academy. <laughs> this is. <laughs> so. So he gets me... swooped away, and then they yeah. find fucking Hannibal. Okay, so let me defi- decipher some of this for our listening <laughs> audience. Uh, I don't know where to start. Yes. Uh, Doctor Mike Strange is, has it. Mike is five Olympia cans deep yes, into a six indeed. pack. <laughs> <laughs> He's gone <laughs> to his happy place. And I'm going to just resist any temptation to go any further because this movie's so dumb. I just want to hear more about Mike's assessment of this movie. <laughs> Should we so, just go from start? To let's just go a little bit further in here. So we, we, we got it. the boys. They're back on... We got the boys. They end up on the fucking bluff with One the green... One of them... Or, no, both of them get zapped into this... By this, Dr. Strange Nugs. Yeah, this uh, <clears throat> combat planet. Tell us about the combat Check planet. Check it out. So they end up fucking falling into the fucking trenches, right? Yeah. Fucking... What's his name? Goldblum. Fucking Christopher Walken Hopkins <laughs> is sitting in the fucking field, and he's like, Hey, boys, I'm Odin. No, we're past that. We're past oh, that. Take shit. us to the planet. Take us to the planet. Gotta get away from that. Take us to the planet. My sister comes into play. She's like, I'm gonna kill you both. They end up blasting off into starlight. She kicks him out of the star portal, and then she ends up at Asgard. In the meantime, mm-hmm. they're both crash landed on a fucking trash world. <laughs> Okay. Are you meat or are you? 
Yeah. You know, you're right. right. Are you a warrior? Are you, or are are you, you a warrior or are you food? Mm hmm. And so they crash onto Trash World. They end up in a fucking Thunderdome arena Mm -hmm. with nothing but mutants and a bunch of... uh, A bunch of fucking goobs hanging out. (laughs) And guess who's there? Your one and only... The Holster. Jeff Goldblum. Oh, okay. Hanging tough. Uh And they're hanging out. He's running wild, brother. (laughs) (laughs) They get there, uh-huh. and fucking Thor's like, get this fucking zapper off my necklace. <laughs> and he keeps getting fucking zing and zap, and he keeps falling down to the ground. And then they're like, welcome to the Thunderdome, bitch. You're going to die. And he gets thrown into the fucking dirt pit. Okay. Out of nowhere, who comes crashing the party? Go, go, go. None other mm-hmm. than the fucking green monster. <laughs> the Hulk yeah. comes crashing in. Saw it in the trailer. Yep. All right. <laughs> Thor is stoked. Yes. What's up, brother? Yeah, we used to work together. Mm-hmm. Is what Thor says. Yeah. That's what, Hi, that's what man. We used to hang out. We're Avengers. What's up? Does not recognize <laughs> Thor. Out of nowhere, mm-hmm. Thor sh- fucking throws it down. We got a whole fucking mercy pit. Mm-hmm. Thor is fucking trying to fucking defend himself, but yeah. no way. Hulk has got his fists pumping right now. <laughs> Meanwhile, he's into it. <laughs> Owen's daughter mm-hmm. is fucking killing him off over down at Odin's guard. All right. All right, that's going on. <laughs> All right, so she's killing people over mm-hmm. there. Okay, back to the arena. <laughs> We're back in. Thor is like, dude, Hulk, give me a break, bro. We used to work together, man. No way, man. I'm Hulk now. Hulk smash. And then they get in this fucking big old bitch fit. It's a big ordeal. Meanwhile, Jeff Goldblum is fucking railing lines. <laughs> yeah. Of fucking space dust, man. <laughs> and he's melting people with his space stick. Yep. Okay. Capish. He's melting people, and they're fucking not digging it, and he is the overlord who's trying to control this fucking trash world. Yes, yes. Thor's trying to get out. Oh, no way, Thor. You got slammed by the Hulk. Now you're his prisoner. Welcome to the fucking Thunder Lair where he's... The Hulk is taking a bubble bath. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and we see a big old Hulk dong. Mm, I in wish the movie. we did. We okay. don't actually see the Hulk dong. Viewers. We don't see the Hulk but dong. But it's implied. I think if you did enough research, <laughs> you'd find somebody has made a fan film of a Hulk yeah. dick. <laughs> so, so if you want to see it. Mike, I, I'm, I'm, conflict, watching, I'm, I'm con- watching Devin have a fucking meltdown. What? Right <laughs> I'm just watching my timer go okay, and watching, okay. the t- watching the seconds slowly. I got to break it down, well, Jeff. Well, <laughs> slowly <laughs> taking away, and I'm conflicted with myself because I'm either like, A, I want to interrupt, but mm-hmm. also I don't want to be the guy who like interrupts one of the most amazing <laughs> summaries of a film <laughs> I've ever heard, but also B, maybe I should interrupt because there's someone listening going, Thank God, Devin. Make this <laughs> lunatic stop this madness. Okay, whoa, so, whoa, 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 whoa. Let I'm, me just I'm, finish here. I'm okay. Gonna, okay, so, I, I, guess so, I guess you're making my choice for so, me. So, guess what? Guess mm-hmm. who escaped? Wait, I just wanted on record that I tried. You tried. Okay, okay you tried. Okay. Nobody Yo, said you did. But guess who else tried? Thor. Mm-hmm. And he broke it out of the fucking building. Mm-hmm. And Jeff Goldblum was like, where's my fucking Hulkman? Uh, and, and then and where was fucking he? boom off into space they go they got the hot babe they got the Hulk banner who's the babe and, again explain uh, to me the babe oh yeah she's the girl who's <laughs> with a little bit of backtrack here what's her deal so she zaps them in the neck and then they get zapped as prisoners mm-hmm. and then they're inside the arena but we find out she's got a secret past she's got a you remember? Yeah, I'm not gonna give that one away. No, that's, you can that's do a spoiler. Right. You can do a spoiler. <laughs> no, 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 that's the one. Maybe she Don't has touch. something tied to Asgard. Mm-hmm. So they escape. Mm-hmm. They're up in the ship. They're up in the party ship. They get up into the fucking light sphere. <clears throat> they mm-hmm. end up on fucking Asgard. Yeah. Well, the sisters taking over the planet. Carl Urban's running around. Turns up, Sister Thor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> used to live on that planet. 
Oh! Also, the lady who was Jeff Goldblum's main fucking scout. Mm -hmm. They get there. Come to find out, Big Sis has taken over the planet. Looks like Thor needs to step in and fucking lay down the hammer. Wait, it's gone. What's he going to do about it? She comes up. She says, hey, big bro, little bro, not big bro. I broke down the ceilings. You saw all the shit on the ceiling, and it was you and your brother fucking whatever, Laynard. Mm-hmm. And then she breaks down the ceiling, and she's like, guess what? I used to rule with Odin, dumbass. And now I'm about to kick your ass, <laughs> dumbass. And so they start fucking fist fighting. Uh-huh. Turns out Thor's not powerful enough. Guess what? She crushed his hammer at the beginning of the fucking film. <laughs> I love your backtracking here. <laughs> uh-huh. All right. So then who's going to fucking defend the day? The one person, fucking Machine Gun Kenny, oh, yeah. who was fucking Thor's baby si- older sister's henchman mm-hmm. who you lived on Asgard fucking loads it up fires it off kills everyone <laughs> and the movie <laughs> <laughs> all you oh, need is a shit. fucking Tommy gun oh, shit. <laughs> and you win the day oh, oh shit well <laughs> alright first of all I want to thank everyone for sticking with us <laughs> We appreciate your support. Two, <laughs> thanks for joining us for our Rick and Morty review of Thor Ragnarok. Oh, shit. Whoa. I wish I could say that, you know, you were this bullshitting. That was pretty damn accurate. I yeah. feel like it kind of hit all, all, all sides of sides from. All right, well. The wolf. I feel like we should. Uh, uh, what maybe like give a rating for this on if we loved it or if we hated it? This is probably one of the better reviewed Marvel films right now. Ninety three percent Rotten Tomatoes. Oh my god. Eight point two on Internet Movie Database. Sean, I I can see it in your eyes. Maybe you did not enjoy this one as much as what well, I don't know if you have enjoyed any of these Marvel films. But no, how I, does this one... Mm-hmm. I didn't like it. I hated like, it. You hated, hated it. this movie. I didn't find it charming, and I thought it was really hard to follow, and my summation of it was a lot easier to follow. <laughs> That's saying something. It was yeah. pretty fucking cracked out. There's a lot of shit going on there, and you know my least favorite thing about superhero movies is there's too much shit going on. There is a lot of exposition in this film. Too much. I would say, in my personal opinion, they did a pretty nice job giving that information because it was told through either he ceiling monologues the whole time, saying exactly yes. what. But happens. I'm saying visu- visually, it's just not her sitting down. Visually, something's happening as well. Do you remember when Swank did that video where he like did a four screen of all the Marvel trailers and just showing how like all the beats show up uh-huh. and all the same yes. ones? This movie was. Gardens of the Galaxy for me. Mike, what, where, where do you land? Okay, I sit right in the middle. I'm going to say In Space with Zombies. And here's my thing, is that when you watch the movie, stick around. Watch the fucking, watch the fucking goddamn credits. Stick and you will see that there's like 100,000 people yeah. on this fucking credit list. Yeah. And so it's literally like they just, they're running a fucking farm of people trying to push... Too much shit into your brain. Yes. Baby, may, you know, honestly, there's a lot of design. I liked their trash world that they created. Mm-hmm. Um, there was a lot of stuff that, that was in that film that was visually appealing. And you go to these movies, especially for me, like, I'm not a huge superhero guy, but I go to these movies because you want to see something visually appealing. You yeah. want to see something that's going to take you into another world. This time around, instead of me being... <laughs> Took my bowl of weed. Oh, I'm high. No, I smoked a bowl of crack. This fucking movie uh-huh. is next level. Like, I can't explain how convoluted this shit gets. Like, mm. it really hits like Are all you these... Are sure le- you can't explain it? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> We would love to hear that. No. Oh, we're out of time. Yeah, we're out of time. <laughs> that was our review of Thor. That's the review that this movie deserves. <laughs> Don't try to be like, oh, we should have really, like, analyzed this. I mean, I really had a lot of fun during this movie. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think there's any better way to say it than 
Ragnarok, it baby. Yeah. <laughs> Ragnarok, it baby. Ragnarok, it baby. Well, let's jump into our next trailers here. Sean, you didn't like this superhero film. Maybe mm-hmm. this New Mutants trailer will finally sell you on a superhero comic book movie. If it doesn't, we have a Matt Damon, Kristen Wiig, Honey, I Shrunk the Kid remake. Downsizing. Let's Ragnarok it, movie babies. I'm going to ask you a series of questions. I want you to respond truthfully. Have you ever hurt someone? Yes. Have you ever experienced anything you'd consider abnormal? Yes. Last question. Do you know what mutants are? You've been through a lot. Get some rest. Okay, intro battle. Uh, (laughs) You're gonna sing the song, aren't you? Uh, That's all I got. I mean, it's so... (laughs) The deep (laughs) horror sounds, and then... We don't need no... Education. I mean, I liked it maybe better when it was in the faculty with all the people from Alice in Chains and mm-hmm. Rage Against the Machine, like forming a new band to cover the song. I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of it here. We watched this trailer multiple times. We saw it in the theater. Mm-hmm. We watched it at least twice here in this room. Every single time it drops, I'm <laughs> laughing. Yeah, gets a snicker out of I everybody. think it's a lot scarier with, uh, instead of like, don't get it. The funky bam, bits. The funky mix, it's got the fucking <laughs> James Cameron, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, oh shit. Well, that's well, how you know it's spooky. <laughs> yeah. this, this trailer lets you know right away, hey, this is a serious film. Uh, we're talking the New Mutants trailer today. We've got our good man, Mike Graves, here to discuss it with us. Mike, as our guest, do you want to kind of just do a little breakdown of what you saw? Maybe just kind of some broad strokes of what you think this plot is? or I See, I'm kind of... <laughs> I don't know... <laughs> I don't know enough about X-Men to really know who's involved. But I couldn't help but feel like the entire time, like I just kind of... It, it just reminded me of Return to Oz. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it go looks on. like the same exact psych ward. When you go up into the courtyard and you're walking in the mutant lair, I couldn't help but think that they were just going to lock up some like random girl who doesn't have any powers. And then, uh, you know, she's going to end up going off to Osland. The filmmakers cite a couple films for the inspiration of this movie. Mm. I'm going I'm to throw some names at you. Yeah. One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Okay, it's like a psych ward movie. The Shining, A Nightmare on Elm Street 3. That's what you were saying. And The Breakfast Club. Because it's a teen movie. Okay. Didn't you get... Where's the teen stuff happening in here? The working title for this was Growing Pains. So it's obviously <laughs> what... Was... Is Kirk Cameron involved in this? Is this one of his Christian... Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, Marvel <laughs> movies? On paper, they're saying, hey, this is like a Breakfast Club teen movie in this trailer we got none of that it's straight up spooky horror it's, it's a teaser to be fair yeah. yeah this isn't a ward this is a haunted house oh my that line <laughs> that line, is, a, that <laughs> line <laughs> is worthy of banning on its own no that line needs to be put on a pedestal <laughs> and we need to just like worship it i've never seen a more blunt like this is the movie mm-hmm. in case you didn't know i'm very curious if that's just adr for the trailer or if that's if someone really says that it in the can't movie. be in the movie <laughs> so like <laughs> We have Stranger Thing guy, which, which one is the brother? Jonathan Byers? Yeah. Johnny Byers. He just straight up, this isn't a hospital, this is a haunted house. I feel like he's very oblivious, too. He's got a broken arm, yes. first of all. It almost is as if he got fucked up in Stranger Things, mm-hmm. and then the government pulled him out of that show and put him into a ward. So, Mike, I see you're a veteran movie baby. You're... <laughs> 
taking <laughs> other sources and combining them in here. Yeah, they don't want him to spread the truth. And maybe he's the girl from Return to Oz. And, oh. and they're putting we did it. both of them in there. And now it's Return to fucking... Witch Mountain. <laughs> so Witch this, Mountain. <laughs> so this is a hospital that Eleven was put into as well. Okay. We yes. I like where you're going with this. Oh, yeah. Which was owned by Wepping X. Um, uh, <laughs> so Eleven is a mutant, is what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah, okay, good. I like where this is going. Okay, the, so the tiny little insight I do have about the New Mutants as a comic book concept is pretty limited, because I started reading it right around the time that it was switching from New Mutants 100 or whatever to, I think, X-Force number one, where Rob Liefeld kind of took over. Oh, yeah, because this is a Chris Columbus, Christopher Columbus. <laughs> what? Chris Claremont. Chris, oh, Chris Claremont, yeah. Who's, I guess, responsible for a lot of, like, the everyone's favorite bits of X-Men characters and story and everything. And I think, yeah, he did spin off these New Mutants into their own thing, but then it kind of got handed over to, like, 90s biceps and giant tits and giant guns uh, versions of, like, the X-Men universe when Liefeld took over. But these characters seem to be not X-Force, which is, I guess it's getting its own movie later. But they're, like, the OG New Mutant cast, which is, if I think I got this right, Arya Stark is Wolfsbane, who is, mm-hmm. like, a little werewolf gal. Okay. okay. The gal from The Witch and Morgan and Split. Oh, that's funny that she's in Morgan. She's like kind of a mutant in that, too. There you go. Um, Can I talk about the witch for two seconds? Yes. <laughs> See, okay. Um, I didn't know. So it's like one of the, you know that band Dead Mouse? Uh, yes. When people ask me if I've listened, to, or when that title came up, I was like, Dead Mouse 5. Mm-hmm. Same deal with the witch. I thought it was the VV itch, <laughs> and, I, and I didn't very, understand. Very I was like, "Is this like a disease you get from Value Village clothes yeah, or yeah. some <laughs> shit?" Like, yeah, I got yeah, the VV itch. Double V. Oh, I'm not sure. So that threw me oh. off. I was like, How, "What is this? A horror movie?" Yeah. And then I watched the trailer, and it's about witches. Not You'll be pleased VV to know itches. she is a VV itch in this one too, because she plays magic. Who is a magical witch? Oh, with a weird bangs haircut. Wow, okay. that's just okay. yeah. So typecast a little bit. Typecast. Um, and then Jonathan Byers plays Cannonball, who is like a guy who can like fly, and his butt turns into fire, and he like flies around what? like a cannonball. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! So when he finds whatever like his... flaming thing is yeah. in the dryer. I, That's canon. Well, I, he lights his farts on fire. Like his and lower, he just flies. his lower torso just turns into like a jet stream. But so the rest of him is a guy, and he can fly around <laughs> through shit. Yeah. Does he crash into things like a cannonball? I think he's like mostly just like punches. You know, he flies around and gets some momentum, and, and he just punches. punches but he shits fire to get around. <laughs> yeah, that's how he broke his arm apparently. We yeah. Now, now I'm just know. thinking about Thor like. His, like, turds just fucking spiral so fast that he shoots in reverse like Powdered Toast Man. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, Do you yeah. think to, uh, like, power him up, himself up, he has to eat, like, just lots of Taco Bell, mm-hmm. a lot of fast food, and he's like, all right. Yeah. I'd here, be very stoked here if we there go. was a smell involved, kind of like a la the Nightcrawler teleportation thing. Or... <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> some cannonball is near. Yeah. There's also uh, Mirage and Sunspot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know who those actors are, so I wasn't going to... I didn't have, like, well, a quippy well, way to Well, we got them. Double Jack, we got One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, mm-hmm. and we got Shining. Mm-hmm. So, two Jack City. Uh, fucking, two are, is he going to make an appearance City. here? Are we summoning the, him? The are we himself? summoning him? <laughs> it's like a Beale the Juice situation. Uh, well, <laughs> so maybe he's the bad guy in the mask. Uh-huh. Here's so. Johnny! <laughs> oh, my God. This is directed by the director and writer of The Fault in Our Stars. So maybe we're going to get a little more teen angst than we thought that this trailer gives us. Again, it just seems like it's baffling to me that if that is going to be a big part of this movie, no like interaction of them as being like teenagers. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, it's again, it's a teaser, so I don't know what we'll get in a trailer. Well, but... what? Like, how do these kids get fucked over into this space, you know? Like, are they not being protected by mutant parents, or are they just, you know, like... So that's my whole thing. Well, you don't get it, because when (laughs) a rattlesnake is a baby, 
It doesn't know how to rattle what, right, and then when it <laughs> when it bites people, it uses too, too much rattle. Head. It's too loud. It's too loud, and so it keeps scaring yeah. everyone off, and yeah. that makes them more dangerous. They see? put out too much rattle. That was which... the, the strangest way to sell like them being dangerous. I don't like that. I don't <laughs> like when a porcupine squills or a baby. It's straight up. When it's adult, it's a little slit slanted. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, exactly I'll take that. It. We open up with this like nurse of this hospital kind of explaining the situation and right. saying like, "Look, you guys don't need any education. You don't need. <laughs> yeah, we don't need no. <laughs> uh, you, you you have no control. And here's another thing: you're like baby rattlesnakes. You can't control your powers, and so you're dangerous. Is Alice Braga playing the same character that she played in The Shack in this movie. Is she a magical voice of God in this to... <laughs> I don't remember The Shack. Like, I, you blocked it out. I blocked all okay, that out of fair. my memory. I wasn't sure what you meant. All I interpreted from that was, is... Wait, is Shaquille making a <laughs> Is he a mutant in this? <laughs> He, we know, he, we, he's we steel. Still know. Jury's he's, still out on he's this. He's just steel man. So, Sean, I do want to ask your limited knowledge of the New Mutants, mm-hmm. and I feel like kind of have like Wikipedia knowledge of all of this comic book stuff. Mm-hmm. My understanding is this is not like New Mutants at all. Like, I don't remember it being like having this horror theme to the comic. No, not that I am aware of. This seems like a new angle, dip its toe into some other genre territory to maybe get some audiences that look at their usual fare, the new X-Men movies and mm-hmm. Wolverine movies and stuff, and kind of like turn their nose up at it. So, I don't know. I could see the like spinning off of superhero movies. Like mm-hmm. We've talked about this before. Yeah. Having them be like, oh, it's a superhero movie, but we're going to box it in a romantic comedy, or we're going to put it in a spy movie, or we're yeah. going to do whatever. Like, It's probably a good idea, unless this... Well, well they're hitting the ball kind of late. It's coming out in April, as far as, yeah. like... Mm-hmm. And what the fuck, you know? Come on, <laughs> put it, like, just draw it out, make it a better movie, release it in during October. the, during the yeah. October month. Mm-hmm. You know, release it not during Halloween, because there's too much other shit. But you know, put it in, put it in there. Don't put, don't wait till April. It's a weird month to put it, out a weird X Men horror movie. It's very strange. It also seems like Marvel has been doing the kind of like spin off genre things, mm-hmm. and this is technically 20th Century Fox, and I don't think their other like X Men movies have done this, or the Fantastic Four movies which they also own, they they haven't really played in the genre game. It's basically like, here's a superhero movie, and that's it. So this is their kind of first attempt. Oh, it's just not a superhero movie. It's a horror. Okay, I'm a little bit confused. you got to yeah. re-catch me up on this. I'm sure I'm not the only one. All right, here's it's, a new game. Yeah. Who owns the rights? Yes, exactly. I saw the Marvel title card. Yes. So this is a Marvel Studios movie. Yes. I but mean it's Fox. Yes. Do they own? Did Fox? Did Marvel buy Fox? No. Last that, night Kyle told me Disney's buying Fox. So that's Disney <laughs> bought Fox. Okay, you're spreading a lot and of rumors. The hound. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> they released it from the vaults. It's back for a limited time only. Twenty first so. century bot Fox and the Hound. I would love that. Disney's trying to find I would it love for. that press release. This is like a clickbait title. Yeah, with the ellipses into a much smaller font. <laughs> Do we think at the end of the day Disney's gonna rule though? I mean, they already think, rule, right? Yeah. Do you think eventually Amazon will eat Disney? <laughs> <laughs> They got a long way to go. Where's the Amazon theme park is what I want to know. Oh, you're right. Disney was one of the first people to, like, kind of screw over, like, the copyright where, you know, there was copyright right. laws where, like, you could own a property for a certain amount of years, mm-hmm. and then after those years, it's public domain. So right. that's why a lot of the grim fairy tales and, like, those older movies are open. Right. But then Disney was, like... Here's the thing. We don't want anybody making weird pornos mm-hmm. out of Mickey Mouse. We love Mickey Mouse. He's an American Constitution. That's not, Constitution. That's not yeah. that word. It's close enough. Constitution. He's part of the Constitution, and it's <laughs> and it says, "Thou shalt not touch my mouse." No, that's the Bible, but okay, I like where you're going. 
<laughs> okay. And so they kind of screwed this over, and now it's funny that they're just like snatching up everything. Yeah. Oh, they're gonna they're gonna own the world. This is gonna be a true life Disney world. Yeah. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the first signs of New Mutant mm-hmm. coming in, coming into the cinemas into people's eyes is that Disney did mm-hmm. return to Oz. Uh-huh. Oh, they did. <laughs> oh, okay. I love it. Right. And as thing. much as they say it's based on four other films, it is Return to Oz, <laughs> as far as I can see. <laughs> Those other films are just to get people off the scent. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But really, yeah. Breakfast like- Club, you shitting me? Yeah. Also, can we talk about this? If Disney's dipping their dick in this fucking film, mm-hmm. what's the dealio with them ripping off all these fucking horror movies? Oh, yeah, go into this. Can we talk about that? Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so something that bugs me... Well, it doesn't bug me, but it's just a fucking... Con- it's it's Here. really a direct rip-off of Mad Mike's it. top three things <laughs> that <laughs> bug him. <laughs> Number one. Okay, the first thing that bugs me the most. They totally ripped the Freddy Krueger vibe. From you got the wall guy. They got the wall guy. Yeah. And it's just they're bending fucking faces and they're pushing hands <laughs> at people. And they just want to hug. <laughs> I, they just want to hug from the mutants. <laughs> Number two... We get a little bit of My Bloody Valentine. I don't know where that comes from, Mm -hmm. but for a second you see a bunch of dudes in masks with glowing eyes with the pitchforks or the pickaxe. Oh, a bunch of miners. Yeah, a yeah, bunch yeah. of miners. Yeah, not we. You know, we have well, the mutants are miners, people, but, yes. <laughs> and maybe that's what it is. Uh, Minor miners. So I think uh, now that you mention that. Yes, because the the villain in My Bloody Valentine is the minor character, but there's but a lot of them. That I think Cannonball comes from a family of miners. Oh. I think that's where that character originates in the comic book. Like, his dad is a works in a coal mine or something. The, I might be making that up. Anyway, go on to number three. Okay, number three, I have to say, and this one pisses me off the most, mm. is The Strangers. Oh, I remember that. I actually saw that one, yeah. It's either The Strangers or there's there's another another movie that's that's similar where With the Mask. With the Mask, the yeah. Smiley Mask. I think it was just called Smiley or some shit. Yeah. And there's a there's a smiley mask. And so it's like, is this really a ward? Or is it a haunted house? <laughs> it really is just a haunted house. I hear it's house. just a haunted house. So yeah. I guess so. It not to defend this film, but apparently <laughs> In the comics, there is a group known as The Right who wore smiley face masks. Okay, I thought you were going to say there's a group called The Wheelers who roll in Go on. <laughs> on stilts. Okay, yeah. And, uh-huh. uh, mm-hmm. and they're, they're they, tormenting they, this. They, like, return they to were the place. They return to, <laughs> to the ward. Uh-huh. <laughs> return to ward. That's very specific of what you thought I would say. <laughs> I thought I'm you still were going... stuck on Return to Oz. Okay, <laughs> I don't think I don't think I can really get over it because it looks the same, feels the same. I don't know what's gonna happen, but I feel like to me it's just a jumble fuck right now. Yep. It's it's yeah. a lot of horror movies that are trying to touch on the X Men and the mutant babies, and you know honestly. The Muppet Babies are <laughs> the in there Muppet somehow. The Muppet Babies are in there. Jack Nicholson is uh, just going to bash your brains in. So, Mike and Sean, this is what I want to talk about then. You are saying it is a mixed match of all these horror stuff. The one new element to this is usually in a horror film, the people are helpless. Yeah. They're in a house. They're in a, a situation in the woods. They don't have phones. They don't have help. Mutant powers. They don't have mutant powers. They're yeah. helpless. And so it's... The suspense is, what are they going to do? Mm-hmm. They have no way out. Right. In this movie, they're mutants. Right. They all have powers. One of them can fart fire. <laughs> we like, know this. We know this. <laughs> okay, this is a we, fact. Wait, before we move on, can we talk about typecasts? Yes. So we got... <laughs> this guy's always farting in fire in this movie. <laughs> and we got, we got Arya, who's a wolf. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> that's a typecast. I love this. And then we got fucking... The the VV itch girl mm-hmm. who is a witch, yeah, magic witch. Mm-hmm. But then we got fucking Johnny Byer, who's a firefighter. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. I am the firefighter. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah I, okay. So here's my theory, Devin. Yeah. This is a haunted house where the haunting 
somehow takes their powers, or the the nurse woman, yeah, doctor. She maybe she's not a nurse. Maybe she's a full fledged doctor. I don't oh, know if she went to medical school. Yeah, she's a rattle she, doctor. <laughs> she's somehow either subsiding their powers with whatever she's injecting them That's with, a good or point. stealing their powers yeah. to make some type of mutant ghost. I Which, don't know. In that case, it's well. Now you've just turned it your one unique thing. Yeah. You've taken that away, yeah. and now it's a plain horror film. Yeah. I feel like the more interesting choice is they still have their powers, and they're using them to kind of make it through this haunted house. Okay, well, let me pitch you this. Yes. That we go with the premise that they do not know how to use their powers. You're they're right. They're so tweenish that they're, if they're, like, he's accidentally firing off his his butt blasts mm-hmm. and, like... Yeah. Stranger tween. Yeah. She's accidentally doing magic, and they don't know what their bodies are capable of or I mean, they're f- afraid of it so yeah. they're not like outright like cyclops like optic blasting their way through this yeah there's a giant like optical beam coming out of his penis because he saw <laughs> just like a boot. wait yeah <laughs> you know like, <laughs> like that's a power right there <laughs> he's getting all the, the all the mutant poon <laughs> well, well that does bring me to my question uh-huh. what power would you have if you were a mutant oh, oh. Oh, cheese. Cheese? Cheese whiz. Uh, excuse me? Cheese whiz. Okay. Uh, Out of my fingertips. <laughs> I like it. How would you touch things? Or, like, is that the point? I feel like it, <laughs> this is how I pictured it. Like, your finger, uh-huh. like, your fingernail, it, like, lifts up. And that's, <laughs> it's like, a, a little dispenser. A dispenser. But it's not, a, it's not like the normal cheese whiz where it comes out, like, silly spray or whatever. <laughs> it's just, like... <laughs> Like, when you take one of those shits where it's, like, a fucking fire, it's, like, a uh-huh. pressure hose. Where it's like, it's, there's, like, and just a, a bunch of gaps of pressure, so it's, like... See, that is one of my favorite things of... Which would be a great distraction. If somebody's trying to kill you... Yes. Cheese Whiz hands. Cheese Whiz on the floor, and now it's, like, you a Goonies em. adventure. Yeah. And you might get shot, but... <laughs> well, you shoot them back with the cheese You whiz. shoot them back. Problem with that is they shoot you... That bullet hole is just shooting more whiz at them. Yeah, well, they, you got a hole in your stomach from the bullet. You just put some cheese whiz in that. Sorry, I checked out a long time ago. What yeah, about? <laughs> I don't think that would actually be my power, but... I... Well, what I like about the X-Men premise is that you don't get to choose your power. One day you just wake up with it, and you're like, if you get cheese whiz power, guess what? Wait, you're stuck with that. Do yeah. you wake up with it? Yeah. Or are you born with it? That's a great hate. I don't know. Like, oh, shit. Can you choose? Nature, nurture, cheese yeah. whiz? We don't know. Oh, my God. Mike, we've got a really ridiculous system to rate our trailers here. It's on a little piece of paper in front of you. Um, I think you're somewhat familiar with this, but just for a little recap, if you are totally thinking this movie based on the trailer is bullshit, you're going to go with I Love Robots. I love robots. If you are like, ah, I'm kind of sold and I need a little bit more from the full-length trailer or whatever... In space with zombies. In space. In space with zombies. And then if you're fully sold, do you think this is great? Like a lot. So you cool if I scream. Like a lot. Give me your rating and give me why. Okay. All these typecasts, we got the wolf gal. Mm -hmm. And we got the VVH gal. Have you seen Game of Thrones? You realize she's not a natural wolf, right? (laughs) Okay. Well, she can communicate with them. Duh. This is true. (laughs) And then we got J.J. Byers. He's got the broken arm from Stranger Things. You know, honestly, I think it's an all-star cast, and I think, you know, (laughs) honestly, if we get some fucking double Jack City going Uh in here Mm -hmm. with fucking Jack Nickelman, Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at a coin toss with the nickel. Bing! Mm -hmm. Got it back in my hand. Heads up. I'm going to go with... uh, like it a lot. Whoa. Oh, Did yeah. Did you see where that was, that was, that was like, <laughs> basketball was just circling the rim, yeah. and we were all in slow motion, just like, oh, ah, ah, I felt like I was in my own haunted house I'm, trying to, like, <laughs> decipher where this was going to go. So it's a horror movie, yes. and it's X-Men. Oh, was not to love. You, oh, your favorite things. So, Mike, not to make an enemy of you right away, <laughs> I'm going to give it... I love robots. I <laughs> hated this trailer for <laughs> for the same reasons you listed for why you loved it. <laughs> I don't think... Okay, this is a complicated relationship. Trailer, yeah. tra- mm-hmm. <laughs> trailer relationship. All I, <laughs> all I have to say is we're probably going to smack dab in the middle. Yeah. But I like it a lot. You love it. I love it. I, love it. I hope... 
But another trailer, like, convinces me that there's some good fun to be had in this. Mm -hmm. Right now, it's just so predictable. Yeah. And I like the idea of Fox experimenting with more genre-based superhero stuff. I think that's a good idea. New Mutants in a Haunted House sounds fun. This trailer did not look fun. It doesn't look fun, but to close it, I'd like to just say <laughs> you close the show. That... Sean hasn't rated, but yeah, let's close oh, no. this episode. Well, we gotta get Sean rated. No, let's let's, 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 let's lock this. Are down. we going to lock this puppy down? I want David Gill more Pink Floyd. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. More, more Pink Floyd. Oh, more Pink Floyd. Okay. Because yeah. you know we don't need no education. Mm-hmm. We just need more mute mutilation. Mutilation. I love. <laughs> <laughs> I love that you're going all in on trying to make these puns happen. (laughs) That's great. There's too many puns. I'm going to split the difference between you guys. I'm going to go in space with zombies. Here's why. Skeptical of how they're going to thread the needle of horror and superhero movie. I feel like they're going to just go with, like, too many of the shitty tropes of both. I don't know. Maybe this is, like, a danger room, like, exercise to, like, Test them or see what they're capable of. Sean, you always love the. It was all a dream. It was all a a danger room simulation. (laughs) I'm curious why we selected a teen rom com director to spearhead a superhero horror movie, but that actually makes me curious in a good way. Like, I think we will end up getting payoffs of relationship of the characters movie honestly not to praise this movie but power rangers mm-hmm. they did a decent job with their like with the teenage char- yeah. characters and if it was like that so we'll see if it ends up going something where it's just like they're haunted by like the house is actually haunted and it's like drawing on their like the ways they've accidentally harmed people or whatever and that's what they're haunted by it's mm-hmm. like oh i don't know my powers and i killed all these people on accident whoops and now this ghost is like making me face that and it becomes like a as above so below type of Mm -hmm. like one of the shitty like found footage horror movies where it's just like this place is torturing you for no good reason i'm not a big fan of that you know what this should have been is uh josh whedon wrote an x-men comic where the danger room is sentient and Mm -hmm. it's basically trapping people in the danger room cool and like really killing them and stuff like that that's awesome that would have been a great premise for like your horror yeah. X-Men film. You're trapped in Danger Room, and it's trying to pick all these people off. Well, let's click our heels together uh, three times and... Return to Oz. Return to the beginning of this podcast, <laughs> where I don't have to watch this trailer. That was New Mutants. I know this can put a pretty big dent in anyone's self-esteem. But downsizing is about hitting the reset button. Start all over. I have allergies. Wait, wait. I'm going to take off my shoes. <laughs> Something very big is happening. Something top secret. Why did I downsize? So that I could be here right now. I finally have a chance to do something that matters. You think we're in the normal world, and then something happens. Oh, my God. And you realize we're not. Oh, we got an intro battle. Downsizing. This isn't my Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. It's Honey, I Shrunk My Giblets. <laughs> or did I? We need to talk about that scene. So Matt Damon <laughs> has just been shrunk. The first, first thing, thing he does. He wakes up. Wakes I'm up. alive. I, I survived the shrinking. I this is the up. most amazing thing that's ever happened in the history of life. I don't have eyebrows or eyelashes, but. But I need to check one thing. My Rick Moranis. <laughs> He looks, he looks satisfied that it's like, oh, it's there. Well, he looks worried. He's like, he checks his penis, and then he's like, oh, what was he expecting? Oh, you think maybe he was hoping they'd keep it a little bit bigger. Yeah. Like the the, the, I thought maybe this is a sex change movie. <laughs> <laughs> like downsizing. You lose it. From you lose it. Yeah. 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 From a vagina. Yeah. It's probably insensitive. But, uh, you know. So I don't know if that's like maybe on the film or that due to Matt Damon's acting that he's not portraying what he's supposed to. But that, the looking to see <laughs> that somehow, like did he think he'd keep his regular size 
dick? That's the movie I want well, to see. <laughs> see, if we're talking about the the butthole, though, we could call no it. No one was talking about okay. the butthole, Mike. Well, I still am, <laughs> and I'm changing the title to Brown Siding. <laughs> if we had an extra thirty minutes to riff, I would I would have you pitch me Brown Sizing, and I would have you pitch me down there sizing, <laughs> and we'd see whose movie gets greenlit. But we're not going to do that. We're going to review the this trailer. Is, this is a serious podcast. <laughs> Downsizing the new Matt Damon, Kirsten Wiggs, yes, Jason Sudeikis. We we got we got Tiny movie. We got Tiny. We got the director of Sideways, About Smith, Election, Nebraska, The Descendants. Okay, Devin, talk me through what what's going on in this universe. All right. Well, so we watched two trailers: trailer one and trailer two. Mm-hmm. Trailer two, we all saw at. The theater on the big screen. Oh, yeah. That was my first time seeing the trailer. Trailer 2. Same. Yep. And so, in trailer 2, they give away a major twist, which is when they get downsized, Kristen Wiig backs out. She's like, I have family. I have friends. I didn't think about this. I don't want to do it anymore. I don't want to get small. Decides not to shrink that wig. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And so... So then keeps her regular size pubic hair. <laughs> Can't give it up. And okay. so then the movie, the trailer focuses on him living in this tiny world, Loserland, mm-hmm. where he's now alone. Yes. More like Loserland. This is very different from trailer one, where that reveal is not shown or hinted at. It's just come live in this world. It's magical. It's, it's magic. Very Michelle Gondry. Everything's gonna be just like yes, yeah. cool. Okay, but without the pretense of it being like, oh, you're starting over and you have to be by yourself and you have to rediscover who you are. A lot of the major story elements that this film seems to be about was not present in Trailer 1. Trailer 1 was very much like a teaser trailer where the only premise... It starts with like a TED Talk. Yeah. And then the guy's like... Here I am. I'm tiny. I'm tiny. <laughs> You're like, oh, oh, hey, I'm shit. tiny. We'll yeah, tiny Ted. <laughs> why can't we? Why can't in shrinky technology? Why can't we keep the voice the same octave? <laughs> that would be cool if we hey could guys, get that technology me. together. <laughs> Matt Damon. Yeah. I'm tiny now. <laughs> But I still sound like I'm big, but I actually sound lower pitched than I did when I was normal size. <laughs> so I don't want to give away my rating right away, but I will say this. I thought Trailer 2 was better. Because oh, yeah. you like the darker atmosphere of it being like, uh, what's he going to do? Now he's stuck It was more there. interesting than the first trailer okay. in many ways. One, the plot points are more interesting. And usually I don't like a big reveal like that being in the trailer. Given away. Yeah. That is a big reveal. And that would have been interesting to see, you know, being surprised by in the movie. It does sell me a little more on this trailer. Because it is more interesting that now he's stuck in this world. It's more about him wanting to change his life and find meaning. Maybe save these sick people? Yeah. Let's talk, uh, let's talk about that element. Well, Mike, did you have a preference over which trailer? I'm going to say I like trailer two more. Because mm-hmm. then, yes, it creates the... It creates this whole this whole universe where Matt Diamond is stuck <laughs> and he doesn't know how to get out, but there's a lot of odd. There's a lot of vodka. There's a lot of there's a lot of I think it's an Oz. I was like, are we oh, back on the no, Oz no. no, we're not returning to that. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you guys too. I like a darker not that it's darker, I'm just saying it's a little less whimsical when he's like down there and he's kinda of stuck and he, we know he can't come back. Mm-hmm. The yeah. procedure's unreversible. He's given up his wife. He's stuck with asshole fucking Sudeikis. Yeah. It's a better structured trailer, too, because you do get him and his boring life. Yeah. And then the reveal of them, of what the plot is, of them being small, is better. Mm -hmm. He sees, like, someone carted in, and it's lifted to see, like, these small people. Mm -hmm. And his first reaction isn't like, oh, my God, what is is going on here? What is this technology? He's like, that's Dave. He never struck me as yeah. a kind of guy to go small. Even when they reveal it on the TV and he's like at Fuddruckers or whatever, he's yeah. like, oh yeah, that's kind of neat. Yeah. <laughs> like well, he's we got, very underwhelmed by this. We got Jason... <laughs> Su- oh, I'm going to fucking say Suitcases? it. Suitcases? See, my whole thing is like, if I'm in real life size mm-hmm. and time as a human... Yeah, as you are now. <laughs> I feel like I might get kind of sold on the three cheesecake factories. 
Uh, oh yeah. yeah, right. Yeah, we have zero in Bellingham. So we have none in Bellingham. We need a little leisure town. Uh, the only cheesecake factory nearby is fucking sea asshole. And, and if you were small at a cheesecake factory, you you get so much more cheesecake. For you your get buck. an entire fucking mountain. Yeah. Here's my question about this. So it's called Leisure Land, mm-hmm. and it is like kind of this miniature like Beetlejuice world. Where there's three cheesecake factories, and the lady says, "If you had five dollars in the real life, you'd have five million dollars in this land." Lego land. Is there inflation? Like no, there's deflation. Well, yeah, but <laughs> oh, I see. You have ten million dollars now in this other world, mm-hmm. and everyone's like all of a sudden has millions of dollars. Then isn't that not how the value of money works? Like now, like getting a taco would be well, no, like a million. It makes sense because they could just stomp them to death. <laughs> That's okay. That's an interesting point. All right. Do we trust? <laughs> do we trust the bigs not to fuck us when we're yeah. little? Yeah, exactly. The war between them. So is... I feel like you'd want like a cloud city. Yeah. You know. You want to be up and out. You want to be out like away. not. You want like your universe to exist above the talls. I'm I'm curious if they do play up with the big people messing with them. They kind of hint at this top secret project going on they do. at one point yeah. in the trailer. Right. Maybe that's something to do with the bigs. There's a woman who is, like, very sick, and my mind went right to, like, oh, the procedure is going to make all the small people sick, and that's something that was, like, an oversight. Oh, yeah. And so it's like, oh, fuck, we're dying. And, and they keep trying to tell the bit, you know, hey, me, 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 and yeah. it comes out like that, so we can't hear <laughs> Yeah, them. and you can't, like, shrink down, you can't shrink down the machinery. Yeah, you can't what's, give her the, the infrastructure uh, for this little tiny Yeah, society. if you get sick, you're fucking gonzo. Well, unless you have Matt Damon. Yeah. Because he's some sort of, like, telemarketer, and that somehow makes him, yes. <laughs> like, a doctor. Yeah. My one bummer of Trailer 2 is the, the movie's more about, I don't know who I was as a big person. Now I have purpose because I'm helping all these poor people... Saving them with my medicine, which maybe is his dick, maybe oh. is his Rick Moranis. It very well could be his Rick Moranis. Like, like, Everyone's got to just yeah. suck Matt Damon's yeah. dick, and that's how you don't die. Jesus um, Christ. Yeah, see, that was a big thing, is it's like, I just, I feel like I can help people here. And it's like, how the yeah. fuck, dude? Well, guys, that's the metaphor. Shrink? When your life gets more small and more insular, you know, you deal on the micro level, like... You get things done. See? It's the, overwhelming when we're in the big macro. <laughs> except for the fact that Unless they have... have <laughs> except for the fact that they apparently have three times as many things in the small world. Yeah. Three. We got three times the cancer. I would love it if this movie became like Matt Damon finding bottle caps and like... Using a Like shield. needles. And just like, just I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cure you. But then he's just, like, fucking up the whole time. People are like, you're not, there's no results. There's no positive result. Matt, you've killed several people. <laughs> he's just like, well, if I'm going to start a new life down here, I'm going to be a doctor. I'm yeah. not going to go to medical school. I'm just going to be a doctor. I'm just, <laughs> just going to do it. I found this giant button. Like, maybe if I sew it onto your back, that will help your back oh! problems. I'm just going to piss on this kid. I think I have, like, special mercurial piss. Um, I feel like by shrinking, though, I feel like everybody kind of, like, can take whatever role they want when they're shrunk. Mm-hmm. But, like Sims but why? Like, so the premise, <laughs> I don't... <laughs> because there's the, an, it's a new society. But it the might premise, as well be a desert island. The premise is that... It's like Lost. It's a reset button. Mm-hmm. You're in this new society. But it looks exactly the same. Like, everything else is still shrunk down. Mm-hmm. So it would be like living in the normal world. Except for there's more resources and there's less environmental impact. I guess so. Little. Like, That's you don't have to worry about money and resources, yeah, I guess. Okay. So, also, one thing I'm wondering about mm-hmm. is clearly these tiny people are building tiny homes. They're building tiny developments. Yeah. We know that they have tiny trucks. Yeah. So... <laughs> So I'm, I'm I'm really excited to see where this is going. Okay, right. what I'm trying to understand. So at first I was like, wait, do they only know how to fucking Rick Moranis these fucking shitholes into like tiny humans, mm-hmm. or are they able to like blast them into anything uh, like a come screw, a- like a tiny screw, uh-huh. into a tiny. tiny tiny screw? 
Oh, you're saying objects. Yeah, objects. And that was what I was confused about, but apparently they can. Well, Because they got scene, tiny trucks. There's a scene in the second trailer, I think, where it's you, you see a little, like, treasure chest of things, of, like, things that are important to them that I think the idea is that they're going to shrink those down with them. With so it's them. Like you still have your wedding ring, you still have your fucking butt plug, or like, whatever. Yeah. And, uh, like, so, yes, I think they can shrink down stuff. Oh, God. why are we getting so, we're getting so this analytical right about this? Well, why here, didn't you just say no. fucking cock ring, dude? Come on. Here's why it's important. Because <laughs> you know my question's going to be, would you shrink yourself? And mm. I well, that's what we're have, getting to. That's, that's what, what we're, we're getting, getting to, to <laughs> right? And so I need the facts. I need the information on why this world would be better to be smaller. <sighs> I mean, there's still bigs, so that's like... Global warming is still at your front it's, door. It's, I, I mean, think it, it really worse, depends right? on climate-wise. Where the fuck are you being trunked to? They're just in yeah. like this little California, maybe. Yeah, yeah. urban sprawl. It's like if, it's just like a parking lot. But right? like, okay, so if even if you're in California, they're in a fucking drought. Yeah. Your tiny cities burnt to shit. Well, so that was like Sean was pointing out. Resources they can one water bottle is going to feed like an entire city. Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah, like that. You, you, I guess. You can't argue with that. It's on, I guess, yeah. It's on the trailer. The tiny city is, uh... I mean, I'm wondering how fucking big this city is. It's got to be like the... What do you think like the square palm. footage... Your well, palm? They, they kind of cut so? to it. They cut to it. They're, when they go to the parking lot of the place or whatever, and, like, they walk into the leisure land thing, like, they look out a window, and it's just, like, a little auxiliary parking lot where all this shit is happening. It's just like a little yard, basically. But I will say, okay, so these humans, if you did the little walkie dog, little walk the dog with your two fucking in- index and your what middle you finger, right and now, which I am doing I am right watching now. very impressive. He's all right. wiggling both that, fingers like legs. Okay. That's the size that you get shrunk down to. Okay. So that's still kind of big. That's not microscopic. No. You're like the true. size of like a rat man. You're like a rat. You're yeah. a rat. You're, you're a rat. rat, man. You're you're but so that's not that's not too tiny. No, I mean, <laughs> you're not microscopic. It's pretty tiny, but yeah, we're not. So that you can honey. shrink you can shrink it down, but that's still pretty big. Ooh. That's like a the size of a house as far as like a community. Maybe right. Maybe the sickness is that they're just more susceptible to germs when they're little. Oh. Ooh, that's what's getting them sick. So here's the question, though. You still haven't answered. Would you shrink down? Okay, okay. Maybe Wait. not, because you have to fight germs now, and yeah. they're coming after you. Yeah. No. I mean, can I keep my butthole the same size? <laughs> yeah, could, do you, does your Rick Moranis shrink? <laughs> no, well, we got that information in the trailer, so you know okay, that. we're good, we're good. Mike, would you do it? Would you shrink down? Okay, one thing I have to say about this uh, whole shrinking thing. One, like, one hand. <laughs> I would Just, shrink. I'd shrink my cheese-producing finger. Okay. I'll have to say, insects. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Fuck. No, I would not shrink myself. We've yeah. all seen... Honey Holy shit, We all saw You're Starship the same, Troopers. You are fucking fist-fighting the Starship Trooper goddamn uh, praying mantis. Yeah. No! I don't want to do that. I I've had a praying mantis slice my finger open while I held it with the back of its fucking claw hand. Yeah. Just totally filleted my finger. <laughs> As a full human... <laughs> that thing would gnaw yeah. my skull into a fucking peanut butter fucking I'm, god mush. F- f- I'm terrified of spiders now. I can't imagine. Oh, honey, there's a spider on top of the house. Yeah, it's knocked over the house. Okay, yeah. I think that might just sell the fact that why would you do it? I Unless you're you domed up. Maybe it's a Truman it. show. Maybe you're in a fucking Thunderdome, dude. <laughs> Maybe you're like... It's not the the pretense of it, your life being better is is bullshit, and it's actually just a way to get people the Thunderdome. They're like, oh, let's shrink them, and then we can make them fight bugs. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. If well, that's the, the other third thing. act reveal, I'm in. It's just like it pans out, fight and it's, it's a little kid playing with them, like you know, like yeah. little. Amps. Oh my god! Yeah, see, that's the type of movie I'd love to see. Is the downsizing too? Mm-hmm. Not the trailer that we're reviewing. The second one. <laughs> is that at the end of it, they realize they're on a fucking anthill. Mm-hmm. And I love the, see, number okay. two is a pretty intense film. It's got so, a lot of gore. This all goes <laughs> kind of to my main problem with this movie. Can you, honey, I shrunk the kids it? There's no fun in this movie. 
without a battle of people I want, ants. I want them <laughs> riding on ants. Uh-huh. I want them wearing a button and using it as like a giant slide or something. Mm-hmm. I want him grabbing a bird's feather and being able to fly. <laughs> I want some like fun, creative imagination stuff. Uh-huh. The one fun moment this trailer sells us on is when Matt Damon sees a giant water bottle and them getting like using it as like a tap. And he's like, oh my god! Yeah, but there's also well, it's not a water bottle. Well, whatever it is. It's an absolute vodka bottle. Okay, yes. <laughs> okay, yes. So these people are gonna die. Because <laughs> if you drink an entire bottle at that size, you're done. You get drunk faster. Apparently they do drugs in this movie. So basically... Yes, okay, can we talk party. about that? Can we talk yeah. about that? Oh, his rave experience? Yes. yes Matt Damon hits the rave scene. We and uh, we were talking about Mickey earlier. Now oh, yeah. he's fucking dropping Mickey. Yeah. Right inside of his tiny body. What size pill are we talking here? Are they getting full ecstasy pills? Because if you swallow that size of your fucking fist. No, it seems like one of the people in their trunk of like goodies, they use like, oh, I just put drugs in mine. In their trunk trunk. Yeah. It and they shrunk, shrunk that trunk. trunk. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> Let's find our way oh, to the rating of, of downsizing. So we got Jason Sudank Nugs. Mm-hmm. We got Matt Moranis. Mm-hmm. We got Kristen Not Shrunk Wig. I sure. like the cast. I think the cast is good. And I do like the other stuff that this director has done. I, I like mm-hmm. a lot of the work that this guy's done. I'm really excited for Insect Fight. It's probably <laughs> never going to fucking gonna happen. Get, you're going to get disappointed. And you know what? I'm going to be fucking disappointed. So I love robots. Oh. Whoa, that turn. Boom. Mike, I, I can't keep track of you. <laughs> I think you want to go left. No, man. Right. I'm, I'm fucking shrinking it down. And I'm all I'm going to say is this tiny thought in my head is that I love robots because, you know, I'm going to be fucking disappointed on every level. We already know Matt Damon's not getting his fucking wig. And we know that Jason Sue Dank Nugs is smoking the Dank Nugs, and he's not a good friend. Come on. Seems like a bad friend. Bad friend. I feel like he's probably tied with the secret plan. He's tied with the secret plan. You know, Matt Damon's going to be disappointed, but hey, I hate Matt Damon. So here we go. I love robots. Matt Damon's going to get fucked up. I hope he drowns in that absolute vodka bottle. (laughs) Well, strong words from Mike. Yeah. uh, I'm going to... I didn't quite hate it as much as you, but I also did not like it. (laughs) I would probably give the first trailer, I Love Robots, and the second trailer, In Space with Zombies. So probably in total, I would give In Space with Zombies for downsizing. It feels like it wants to be a Charlie Kaufman type script being John Malkovich sort of situation. (laughs) And I feel like if Kaufman got his hands on this thing, it could be interesting. Or if it was portrayed more as a Honey, I Shrunk the Kids family comedy, I'm not into finding meaning in his life. Like, I'm... I, I'm sick of those type of movies. I, yeah. don't, I don't want him to find meaning in Well, life. what if the meaning that he finds is he's really, really good at leading little people into battle against ant colonies? Then I'm into it again. <laughs> okay. And now I'm curious if this was not uh, Edgar Wright's original Ant-Man <laughs> pitch, and this is why Marvel kicked him off. <laughs> he's like, I'm selling my idea to someone else. Downsizing. <laughs> Marvel downsizing. <laughs> Okay, that's acceptable. I'm also going to rate it in Space with Zombies. I want to see a weird pivot. I want to see some type of, like, plague or something that they didn't see coming with the shrinking process. Right, it's interesting they give away the twist in Trailer 2, but I agree. I feel like it needs another another twist. twist. Ooh, yeah, yeah. see, that's the thing with Trailer 1. I'm also holding out for this to become like, oh, if this is just a paradise land, it just is super orgiastic, and everybody's just right. little people fucking. But That's, with their normal-sized dicks. Yeah, exactly. Like, what we didn't tell you is we kept all of our normal-sized dicks, and then Matt Damon's like, what? They shrank mine, but they left my butthole extra big. And they're like, perfect. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I'm kind of glad they didn't do, like, full whimsy with this and make it, like, oh, yeah, we got to, like... 
turn thread into rope and fucking yeah. Hot Wheels into regular cars and stuff. In a way, because it's that's Honey I Shrunk the Kids. It's Honey I Shrunk. This is yeah. another movie. It is a little dry for the sci-fi concept, but maybe that's what I like about my sci-fi movies mm-hmm. is when they just go, oh, outrageous concept. Let's take it seriously. I mean, his deadpan reaction to everything is pretty fun. Yeah. In itself. But the the kind of political, geological implications of this, it's just kind of like that part of the movie makes me think of like The Circle with Tom Hanks. Okay. That fucking movie that came out a while ago. It's like, I don't like that. This looks kind of lame. So here's hoping for a third act reveal where some type of like inexplicable disaster, like if this turns into a little geostorm, like just a teeny geostorm, then I might be reinvested. Someone sneezed at the <laughs> hurricane. <laughs> But I will send my heartwarming condolences to movie baby Keith Carmack, who I know is dick deep in writing his own YA shrunken people movie. And I feel like this <laughs> that's movie not, is really going to steal his thumb. That's not true, is it? That is true. No! That's so, yeah. Keith, sorry, please send me, this, send, this, send me the script. Sorry I need they to did this. this to you. Um, I still think your idea is better. So with that, you know what? Uh, let me ask you this. Yeah. Hey, guys, are you uh, nervous to end this segment? The, no. No. Let's try uh, that again. Uh, 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 From the trailer. Yeah, yeah. Hey, guys, are you nervous to end this segment? Uh, yes. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and that was right. downsizing. I feel like I was led on that one. <laughs> you, were, <laughs> you did not take the bait in any way. <laughs> wow. That is wild, isn't it? It's just wild. And that's the movie, babies. What? <laughs> that's the episode. Huh? Oh, okay, do it again. <laughs> no, let's keep it. Just roll. <laughs> and, and that's... that's, the, that's one, that's, two, okay. three. And that's, that's the, the movie episode. episode. <laughs> okay. No of it. <laughs> I feel like it kind of captures the chaotic elements of this episode. Oh, really? You don't think this is like a by-the-numbers kind of just like straight-up review episode? <laughs> I don't know. Mike, what do you think? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mike, in that voice, tell us what you're up to these days and where other people can find you if they loved what you did here on our show. That sounded a lot more facetious than... Yeah, in the that voice sounded like... Was that a compliment or was that a <laughs> dig? You can use right. your own voice, too. It's fine. Here we go. Right now... I'm currently playing in a band called Serpent Sun. Serpent Sun. Oh, you're going to be the hype man for him? <laughs> Great. Okay, perfect. And are you guys have any shows coming up? No. <laughs> <laughs> when does the recording come out? I don't know. Okay. We haven't recorded any music yet. <laughs> I don't believe this is a real band. We have a band it. name. Um, it's just me so far. You can far. find us on Bandcamp, our old band name, GlacierNorthwest.Bandcamp.com. Mm-hmm. Also, you can find me on a new podcast that is coming soon, coming very soon. soon, called Buck or Bunk. The premise of Buck or Bunk is, what do you think is Buck, bro? Mm-hmm. Or what do you think is, oh, that's bunk. Okay. <laughs> so it's kind of like a movie babies thing. So, is it like, is so, it in space with zombies? Yeah. Yeah. Is it love robots? Yeah. Okay. So it's like hot or not? Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah, very hot or not. We okay. can, we can, we can get behind that. That sounds right. great. So this is to come. Keep your this eyes out. This is to come. For it's Buck or Bunk. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, Buck, mm-hmm. you can check us out on Twitter, Facebook. We have a YouTube you can check out. To catch all of our stuff, you can check out our website, www.moviebabies.com. Because, Sean, yes. when you don't have time to watch a two-minute trailer... I'm going to pitch this to Mike. <laughs> Mike, <laughs> when you don't have time to watch a two-minute trailer, this is where you do, like... Some sort of like tagline oh, or like some sort of like catchphrase. When you don't have time to watch a two minute trailer. Okay, you did the setup to the <laughs> oh, shit. joke again. Okay. Go ahead. Then it's time to movie baby your way into the crib. <laughs> <laughs> That's the movie babies. That's the movie babies. Oh, God. <laughs>